Welcome to a brief visual history of the periodic table. In this video, we'll take you on a quick journey through time, showing how the periodic table evolved. From ancient discoveries of elements to the brilliant minds of scientists like Mendeleev, you'll see how this chart shaped the world of chemistry. This visualization offers a brief history of the periodic table. For convenience, elements are represented throughout by their abbreviations, even before those abbreviations were conceived. In many ways, the history of the table tracks the modern development of chemistry as a science. Ancient times. Several of the elements in the periodic table have been known in, mostly, pure form since ancient times. The Iron Age, for instance, ensued from the fundamentally chemical discovery that metallic iron could be recovered from its ore by heating with carbon. Middle Ages. As history progressed, more elements were isolated throughout the world, though the idea that these were the fundamental elements underlying all other substances was not yet clearly understood. 1669, Hennig Brand. In addition to the periodic table's anniversary, 2019 marks the 350th anniversary of Hennig Brand's isolation of phosphorus, which he accomplished by concentrating urine. 1789, Antoine Lavoisier. The 1770s marked a turning point when precise experiments led to isolation of gases such as oxygen and nitrogen and a unifying framework to explain their reactivity. Antoine Lavoisier and L.B.G. de Morveau compiled a table of simple substances, published in 1789, that starts to look like a precursor of the periodic table. It was just one long column, but has been broken in four here to fit the layout. The elements were clustered in several groups such as metals and non-metals, but weren't otherwise well-ordered. Light and heat were included, but later jettisoned. F and B were only notional fragments of their acids, and the final five, CA through C, were not differentiated from their minerals. 1864, Julius Lothar Meyer. By the 1860s, a general consensus was reached on how to order the known elements by weight, Several chemists then recognized that certain properties, such as density or oxide stoichiometry, manifested a repeating pattern that lumped the elements into distinct, mutually similar groups. Most prominent among these pioneers were Julius Lothar Meyer and Dmitry Mendeleev. Mendeleev's seminal achievement was his prediction in 1869 of specific missing elements, with weights of 45, 68 and 70, on the basis of his periodic system. The discovery within 17 years of gallium, scandium and germanium, the properties of which all matched Mendeleev's predictions, cemented his legacy as father of the periodic table. 1890s, William Ramsey. As the 19th century drew to a close, the noble gases were discovered, primarily by William Ramsey and collaborators. Ramsey proposed to Mendeleev that he add them to the table as a new column. 1913 to 1925. Henry Moseley. The discovery of protons and elemental isotopes prompted Henry Moseley to champion a new ordering principle for the periodic table based on atomic number, number of protons, rather than atomic weight. Relatedly, Moseley's X-ray emission studies provided a precise method for identifying each element. A popular version of the updated table was published in a 1920s textbook by H. G. Deming, just before recognition of the last missing stable element, rhenium. 1955, Glenn Seaborg. The adventure remaining was synthesis of the short-lived radioactive elements, most of them heavier than actinium. This project proceeded throughout the rest of the 20th century and into the 21st. Glenn Seaborg, a pioneer and lifelong discoverer of unstable actinide elements, started placing them in their own row below the rare earth elements. Element 101 was discovered in 1955 and named for Mendeleev. Seaborg was later honored with his own element, Seaborgium, present and future. The current layout of the periodic table was finally settled in 2016. Now, Researchers around the world, including Element 118's namesake Yuri Oganesian, are working to are push working into to an push eighth row of the eighth table. Row. However, the challenges of discovering new elements grow with the number of protons. 
Some scientists think that the table's periodicity could break down as atoms get larger. If that happens, the periodic table could need reshaping once more. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a new topic. Do not forget to hit that subscription button. We need your help.